Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss one important problem from three-dimensional geometry and here uh, we have the problem uh, which is related to uh, finding out the equation of a plane, right? So here uh, we have a problem uh, in which we have to find the equation of a plane uh, which passes through uh, three non-collinear points, right? And the coordinates of the points are given uh, as uh, p is 2, 3, 1, q is 2, 1, 2 and r is 3, 6, minus 1, right? So here uh, what we have to do, uh, we, we have to find the equation of a plane which uh, passes through uh, these three uh, non-collinear points, right? Or in other words, we can say that we have to find uh, the equation of a plane, say this is the plane and uh, these three points uh, p q r uh, lies on uh, this plane right so if we denote uh, the plane by uh, pi then we have to find the equation of uh, this plane right so although uh, we have already discussed this concept in our earlier videos uh, so here uh, we'll directly solve this problem right so now uh, see uh, if we have suppose three non-collinear points, uh, say uh, the coordinates of the points are uh, say x1, y1, z1 and uh, the second point is say x2, y2, z2 and the third point is uh, say x3, uh, y3 and z3, right? Suppose in general we have three points P, Q, R Whose, co uh, whose coordinates are given by x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2 and x3, y3, z3, right? So the equation of the plane which passes through uh, the points P, Q, R, uh, provided the points are non-collinear points, then the equation of uh, uh, the plane that is uh, uh, denoted by the uh, letter pi is given by uh, the determinant so here we'll write the determinant, right? So how we can write this determinant? See, uh, the equation of the plane pi is given by this determinant and we can write C. In the first column, we can write C x minus x1, right? So then uh, we can write uh, x2 minus x1 and then we can write x3 minus x1, right? Okay. And in the second column, we can write y minus y1. Then we can uh, write y2 minus y1. And uh, in the uh, third row, uh, we have uh, y3 minus y1, right? And in the third column, we can write z minus z1. Here we have z2 minus z1. And then we can write z3 minus z1. Right? So, uh, this determinant uh, is equal to 0 and x, y and z is a general point on this plane. Right? And p, q, r are the points whose, co uh, whose coordinates are given like this. Right? So, what we will do? Uh, see here x1 is 2, y1 is 3, z1 is 1, x2 is 2, y2 is 1, z2 is 2 and x3 is 3, y3 is 6 and z3 is minus 1. So what we will do, we will uh, substitute uh, the values in this determinant. So uh, see uh, what we will get, uh, we will have x minus x1. So we have uh, x1 is 2, then we have x2 minus x1. So we have 2 minus uh, 2 and then we have x3 minus x1 that is uh, 3 minus uh, 2, right? And in the second column, we have y minus y1. So y1 is 3. And then we have y2 minus y1. So we have 1 minus 3. And then we have y3 minus y1, right? So y3 is 6 and 6 minus 3. And then uh, here we have z minus z1. So z1 is 1. So here we have 1. And then... Uh, we have z2 minus z1 so this is 2 minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 and then we have z3 minus z1 that is minus 1 and uh, minus 1 right so now we have this uh, determinant 
so we can simplify it so what we will get x minus 2 here we have 2 minus 2 0 3 minus 2 is 1 then we have y minus 3 here we have minus 2 here we have 3 and then uh, we have z minus 1 then we have 2 minus 1 is 1 and minus 2 right so now uh, what we will do will uh, expand this determinant along this row right that is along the row r1 so what we will get we will get x minus 2 and then we have uh, here uh, minus 2 3 1 minus 2 and then we have minus y minus 3 and we have 0 1 and 1 minus 2 and then we have z minus 1 and we have 0 1 minus 2 and 3 right and that is equal to uh, 0 so now we have here x minus 2 and we have uh, minus 2 times minus 2 that is 4 minus 3 then we have y minus 3, here we have uh, 0 minus 1 and here we have z minus 1 and this is 0 plus 2 and that is equal to 0, right? So now further simplifying it, we'll get x minus 2, 4 minus 3 is 1 and then uh, here we have minus 1, so this minus and this minus becomes plus, so we, have, we are left with y minus 3 and here uh, we have uh, uh, 0 plus 2 is 2 so this is 2z minus 2 and that is equal to 0 right so now we can uh, further write it uh, as x plus y plus 2z and uh, this is minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 and that is minus 7 right so this is the uh, Cartesian equation of this plane uh, which passes through P, Q and R. So now viewers, uh, uh, this equation is obviously of this form that is AX plus BY plus CZ uh, plus D is equal to 0, right? So any uh, equation of first degree in X, Y, Z uh, which is of this type, it represents a plane right and moreover we can also uh, express this Cartesian equation in vector form so we can also write it like this r dot and here uh, the vector uh, can be made uh, through the uh, coefficients of x y and z that is uh, 1 i cap then we have 1 j cap then we have 2 uh, k cap and here we have minus 7 is equal to 0 so this can also be written as r dot i cap plus j cap plus 2k cap uh, is equal to 7 right so this is the uh, vector form of uh, the equation of this plane where uh, we can write vector r and this vector can be written as vector n and this quantity can be taken as a d right so this equation is of this form where this vector uh, represents the uh, normal vector to uh, this plane uh, pi right and uh, 1 1 and 2 are the direction ratios of this vector n